Hey guys, I am back at you one more time tonight. I didn't think I was going to be able to make a vlog today. I usually just try to do one one time a day or, you know, at least a couple of days. But what happened to me was just so beautiful to me. It, I mean, I've I just been emotional and I don't, you know, how to, how to perceive it. I don't know if it's just something in my, my psyche that I wanted, but I've noticed that you know this is something that is a reoccurring dream that has happened throughout my years you know i would have dreams of you know me being a baby and me seeing a very fair-skinned person with this big beautiful hair and just come to find out it's my dad but you know i always had it, it, it's like my mom always used to ask me how do i remember stuff like that and that's weird you know because she always used to you know it used to creep her out but she was excited about it at the same time but I was in, you know, my foyer listening to my dad's uh, song 1999. And I don't know if I was just doing a rain dance or whatever, or I was just in my moment. And, I, you know, I was just acting like I was on the stage with him. And I was just thinking about him and focusing on him. And I just feel his presence in the room. And next thing you know, uh, I feel my whole, like my whole stomach just shift. It just felt like my body just shifted. And I don't know how I can explain it. It's either I'm looking through his eyes where I see he's holding me and he's singing to me. And, you know, this is like when I was first born. So I don't understand how I'm remembering stuff like that. Because, you know, they say that you shouldn't remember stuff like that. But then, you know, I don't, I guess since it was so traumatic to me. I used to have nightmares about it where I used to, you know, suppress it and stop dreaming about it because I used to wake up and I, my mom said I was having night terrors about it. So, um, maybe my family can, you know, you know, understand that or tell me if it was true or not, if it happened. But all I know is that, you know, I guess it was for a couple of days he would sing to me or it would be an all day, all night thing. He would constantly sing to me and I would feel tears hitting my face sometimes and it would I guess it was just like really sad but I can see it like from his eyes him holding me but then I can start seeing it like for myself like outside of my body or whatever like I'm watching a movie and somebody was showing me this so it was like so emotional to me because I know I was reading up on indigos because it was like today even though I was happy it was just like an emotional moment like are you supposed to really still go through this? Because I've been progressing very good. You know, I've been, you know, doing my affirmations. I do my meditations, you know, try to do my positive thoughts, move my, my frequency up to where it's, where it's supposed to be, you know, all those things. But, you know, sometimes it feels like you got a slingshot and you go right back to square one. And I'm just like, really today? I don't want to deal with that. And then, you know, it, I was starting to read up on a lot of things that you go through, you know, your temperature changes, you know, you'll lose weight, gain weight, you know, your appetite sometimes change, uh, you know, you'll feel, you know, vibrations from the back of your head. Sometimes I feel these chills and it just feels like somebody just walked over me or something with the, you know, like some dry ice or something like that. But, you know, but all I know is just that he was holding me and I was like, a, a infant you know and it sounds crazy I don't know what it was but you know maybe my family can understand it or you know make some sense of it or whatever um you know it was just like I can feel him holding me really tight like he didn't want to let me go and it was just I guess it was time for them to take me away and I guess if he held me it's you know any tighter he probably would have broke something but you know it was like really emotional like they he was fighting people you know, to get me back. And, you know, at first, you know, that mess was like a, you know, a kick in the, you know, in the stomach. But then I turned it out to be a positive that, you know, I see that's, that's love. Because I always felt like nobody ever loved me growing up, you know, because it's just like when I remember, you know, actually feeling like, you know, my parents loved me. It was like when I was really, really small up until like I was three or four year old years old and I guess that's around the time that my dad was reaching out a lot that I can remember um but you know I just have these you know these weird dreams sometimes to where you know there he's been places that he's seen me and he wasn't supposed to be there and then you know there's 
arguments or whatever. I don't know if that has happened, but I had memories of that. And it's just like, they said that your past will come back and you will start getting like visions of it. And sometimes you'll get bits and pieces of your future. Like I keep constantly seeing my aunt and she's, you know, she's hugging me and she's about to tell me something, but I never get a chance to actually remember what she's about to tell me or the last few nights, uh, that um I've been going to sleep I always think positive thoughts because sometimes you know that ego will creep up on you and this is just I'm trying to get out of my comfort zone and be in my old depressed ways I don't want to think about anything negative you know as I'm starting a new year you know I, I feel that I'm about to be with my family soon you know so I don't want to bring that negative energy on into a new life you know where I originally supposed to have been in the first place so you know it was just crazy just to experience that but actually you know it just made me cry for a minute you know and I'm still you know I'm still wiping my nose and stuff now because it was just very emotional to me and you know I thought I should share that with you guys maybe you guys have probably been through that but this is just like it was a beautiful touching moment to me because I always knew that my dad loved me you know getting more and more of that every day that my dad loved me and um because when he first passed, just like I said from the beginning, I didn't know if he knew about me or whatever. I just went off of what my mom said. And it's just finally I knew there was some big chunks of my memory has just been, it seemed like it's been altered. Like, you know, somebody was trying to make sure I did not remember those precious moments that I did, even though they were very, very short with my dad. I'm starting to remember them now. And it's just, it feels so good just to actually know that. And it's just a blessing, even though it was a bittersweet situation, but I will always cherish that. It's just like, that's just something, one of my memories of my dad, I don't want to let go of because that's just very precious to me. And if that is true, you know, I mean, that's just amazing for me to be able to experience that. So I thought I should share that with you guys. And I hope everybody's having a fabulous night. And I love you guys. And I'll see you soon. Peace. Love. Bye. Oh, and I forgot to tell you guys. Right before I was getting ready to make this video. I had. Uh, right. It was just right at my emotional peak. It, it said on my phone. It was 616. It was like 6.16 my time in Columbus, Georgia. And um, and it was 66 degrees. So, you know, I went to look that up and it was just crazy. They said all these new these new uh, relationships that I, I supposed to uh, don't be scared of. So I guess it's just a new part of me I'm opening up to me. And I was, I'm not supposed to fear that. And I love it. So, you guys, I will see you later. Love you guys. Bye.